So I joined the Air Force because I couldn't afford school. And then I was in a rough time in my life where I needed an escape, I guess, maybe. But it turned out the Air Force, to me, wasn't just gonna be about the school. It turned out to be much more, and now I really enjoy it. So I just hit my two year mark, entered August 1st, 2017, and I am an Airman First Class. The title for my job is Maintenance Management Production, if AFSC is 2R1X1. I entered in with an open contract and picked it out in basic training. Honestly, I had no idea what this job was, but after getting a little more into it and going to my first space and seeing what I do, I'm like, wow, that's a pretty big job. So yeah, it's now it's something I really wanted to do. I'll be honest, I really wanted a medical job like dental assistant or surgeon assistant. I was like, dang, I could probably get a really good job right after there for us if I really wanted to get out. I signed a four-year contract because in my mind, I was like, oh, I'll just do school, get out. But I really wish I signed a six-year contract, but it's all good. <laughs> my tech school for the job was at Shepard Air Force Base in Texas. I think it was Wichita Falls. Yeah. Tech school for me was only about 33 days, but they cut it short at 29, I believe, because it was around the time they were trying to send us home for Thanksgiving. So it ended up being only about 29 days, so we got kind of lucky. <laughs> I, at first, tech school was a little awkward. You had one half of you that had some freedom, the other half was still tied down because of the MTLs. But honestly, I really enjoyed tech school. The school part, I mean, you fell asleep us sometimes, but it was just the friends that I made. They were really cool. I met so many different people from different places, learned so many new things. And like, I would honestly go back to that just to like see the friends again, because they're really people that I'll remember for a long time. So with my job, since we handle all aircraft, we can be stationed anywhere. So as a maintenance management productionist or a scheduler, they might call us PSND, we are required to create schedules, flying schedules for the aircraft that we're stationed with. We'll be required to make a weekly schedule, a monthly schedule, and a quarterly schedule. Obviously, a weekly is every week, a monthly is every month, and a quarterly is every three months. So much with computers. Again, it's going to depend on like where you're at. Like with me, I'm at the 855th Rescue Squadron at Nellis Air Force Base. So since we're a rescue squadron, obviously our helicopters deploy a lot. In that case, we deploy with them very often, probably twice a year, I believe. Uh, but again, it just depends on your base, it depends on your aircraft, where they go, and, and so on. I'll be honest, when I first joined, it was just the four years and that's it. Right now, it's like, I'm planning on re-enlisting, but I, whenever I think about 20, I'm like, damn. <laughs> uh, but right now, I think if I were like on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll probably be on a 6 towards the 20 year retirement. So yeah. Honestly, like I said, I was trying to go for something medical. Um, I wouldn't mind doing that now, but now that I know this job and understand it a lot more, I really enjoy the job now. And I really don't mind doing this for the next who knows how long. So you can probably hear the basic answer from everyone like, oh, volunteer, go to school, go do this, go do that. But honestly, like with me, what was important to me first was learning my job. And then I wanted to volunteer and then do the other stuff. Because if you're pushing for people to like volunteer and do other stuff besides their job first, it's gonna be hard for them to be juggling everything at the same time. Because you're trying to learn your job, you're trying to volunteer, you're trying to do everything. So in all honesty, just take your time like learning your job first. And once you get that down, then go for it. Go, go volunteer, go do ACE, um, try to get that BTZ package, you know, just stuff like that. My Instagram name is jorge.via98, that's J-O-R-G-E dot V-I-L-L-A 98. Thanks.